That covers the approaches. Let's look at sectionals, wax, and in route charts, otherwise known as raster charts. We click on the raster charts tab and we're presented with a zoom in of the sectional chart at level one at our departure point, Aurora. Let's look at the tools. The first is locate waypoint, the second is move map, the third is waypoint tool, the fourth is ruler, the fifth zoom in, followed by zoom out, departure, previous waypoint, next waypoint, destination, zoom levels, and map types. Let's see how those work. The first is the search tool that allows us to find places. Let's search for the battleground VOR, and now that we've found it, let's add it to the route. The second is the map move tool, and what it permits us to do is to grab the map and to shift the image. The third tool is the map router tool. It allows us to do things like to grab the route line and to drop it on various areas. Here we've dropped it on the Portland International Airport. The fourth tool is the electronic ruler, and it permits us to measure the distance. In this case, from Portland International to Hillsboro appears to be a distance of about 15 miles and 261 degrees. It's followed by the zoom in tool, the zoom out tool. Next are four buttons that permit centering the map on any of the waypoints. It starts with centering on the departure, followed by previous, next waypoint, and finally, the destination waypoint. It's followed by the zoom control window. The most zoomed in level is level one. Zoom level three, for example, pulls us out to an area that shows us more ground. It is followed by the map type selector, and we'll switch now to the low in route chart. Let's look at the available detail found on the in route charts by jumping into level number one. There you can get an idea of the detail that's available in chart case.